Getting good at decision making means really owning, I mean really owning your judgment and your own preferences. Now over time to make better and stronger decisions, well that's about stacking your skills and your knowledge and that experience that you've developed along the way in such a way that constantly sharpens that decision making judgment. Really what it's about is clearing the path so that you can bring all of that expertise to the floor whenever there's a call to make and then taking the time to reflect on those decisions and continually improving over time. Now the trouble is with decision making, a lot of the time our judgment gets clouded. It really is one of the quirks of our humanity that we're so susceptible to environmental factors and we're so easily primed and influenced by what's going on around us. Get this, even if we know we are being primed. Nobel Prize winning economist, the godfather of behavioral economics, a guy by the name of Daniel Kahneman proved this and he showed just how easily this priming effect can mess with our decision making. He asked people to estimate the percentage of African countries in the membership of the United Nations. Then he spun a rule that we were right in front of them and uh, that had numbers from zero to a hundred on it. Now once it stopped, these same people were asked whether the actual percentage of African countries was greater or less than the number on the wheel, then they were asked what their thought was, what they thought the correct percentage was. Now on average, people who spun the number 10 on the wheel guessed the percentage of African countries in the UN at around 25%. But the people say who spun 65 on the wheel guessed on average 45 or 50%. Now that's a huge difference and all because of a number that was literally spun in front of their face. Now obviously we all rationally know that a roulette wheel has no bearing on the makeup of the United Nations. We know that we should just be able to ignore that number on the wheel because the wheel doesn't know what the hell it's talking about but nonetheless it played a huge part in affecting people's judgment. In the work environment we see this kind of bias at play all the time. Our decisions become anchored by the things we see around us, the ideas, the norms, the opinions of others. Even when we know those things are just plain wrong, they still tend to affect our judgment. So if you want to get good at making decisions, and I'm talking about getting good at making the kind of strong, robust, tough decisions that accelerate your careers and elevate your impact, well you're going to need to practice when to take a cue from what you're hearing around you and to embrace the perspectives of others and when to shut all of that noise out and just back yourself. But that takes practice. So what I'm gonna recommend is keeping a decisions journal for a little while. It's not as crazy as it sounds. I want you to write down over maybe the next week or two all of the significant decisions you make, revisiting them in subsequent days and asking if you'd make the same decision in the same way again. You'll probably find that your mood, the time of day, the people around you, they've all affected the decisions you've made. Now the more you are aware of what's shaping your decisions, the more potential you'll have to generate better calls the next time around. Uh, let's leave it to other people to make their their decisions based on roulette wheels. What we'd hope for you is that you were, would become someone who learns to control their decisions and really own them for yourself. We'll see you soon.